Hey guys, it's Skier, and for the past four weeks, I have spent dozens of hours updating Chroma HUD. And the 3.0 update is finally here. This update has a near complete rewrite of every system, both front end and back end. The command to access it is still slash Chroma HUD. Like this. However, everything looks different here. One of the main complaints that I got was that people couldn't access different items based on their location. You can now use your scroll wheel to scroll between any of the ones you want. So you just keep on scrolling and it'll rotate through them. I won't necessarily go in a clockwise order. That's just the order I created them, but it'll go in the order of uh, creation in the code. So to get to any of them, you can either click on them or scroll. And let's take this one, for example. Let's try to edit it. The first thing you're greeted with is a different thing. This is called the color palette. The color palette allows you to click anywhere on it to change the color. So you can move on it, drag your mouse like this, and it allows for more precise control than RGB because you have hue, you have hue saturation and brightness. So you can very easily pick what color you want because you go here and then you pick the brightness up. So I want it to be this green, but like a little less bright. So you could go like this and that's that. You have the same modes for scale. It gets bigger, gets smaller. Same thing, you know the drill for that. We're gonna keep it at 100 though. You have the option to do shadow, which is the same thing where it just does the shadow below it. And you also have the highlighted option. The highlighted option at request has now been scaled so that it's slightly larger than the text, so it encompasses it. As well as it's no longer as dark, so you can see it. It's more transparent, like if you look at the islands on the right side, you can still kind of see through it before. Uh, it was really dark, so you couldn't. So let's reopen Chroma HUD. And let's go check out some of the other settings we have in this update. We'll get into this stuff later, but for now the other settings, you have the chroma, so the chroma wave, and you have the static chroma, just like this, standard stuff. Chroma wave is one of the new things added in 2.3 that I carried over, so now you can choose which chroma you want. Doesn't really matter. And you also have your RGB sliders, so red, green, blue, this gives you like a sample color down here, what it looks like. It's all, it's all nice. There you go, you can go like white, purple, whatever, shout out to purples, you're a great guy. Uh, and then we're back to the color palette, where we just go like this, and we're back here. Boop, boop. What's interesting is it'll actually save your color. So if you're like, oh, I want this color, psych, I want RGB, so it'll actually kind of save it between sessions. Um, you also have the ability, let's, let's do the change position first. So this is completely redone. You now just drag this anywhere you want, and you click save. The save button tries to get out of the way, but you can always just click it over it. So this gives you like the little area at the hitbox, so. I'm going to put it, and I'll just keep it over here, save, and now it does that. And then we also have this change items. So the change items thing over here, very different again. You have to center back button so you can go back. Um, so you have this, so you can move it up and down. So we're just going to move this up, move this down, you know, same drill as before. Uh, you notice you have your config options over here, but in this add item screen, it's completely different. Well, you can first of all go to the explore item and see what things are in it. You can scroll up and down for people who don't have as big of displays as I do. So you can actually see everything in it because, you know, if you have a small display, I play at 4K, so I don't have that issue. But like some people don't only really see down to here. So this allows them to give a, get a preview of every single item before they want to add it. So like here's the armor, armor stuff, your sword, bow, arrow, like that, your ping, your CPS your FPS text display, just an example. Now one of the huge things in this update is that you will now be able to have external add-ons. This is this The system for it is currently in the mod, but the system to add more isn't there quite yet. Um, it will be soon. It'll either be uh, an update 3.1 or have an external thing of a different collective mod that I'm making for everything. But let's continue on to the actual mod. So if you click add, you can add any of them. You just kind of click them. I want to add say a time element. And let me go click on the time element to uh, go to it. So definitely didn't just find a bug during the recording, but that's okay. Type slash chroma HUD like this, go back into here, which is what we were editing and it should work. Uh, change items, just you go back and then you click on time. Oh yes, now it works. It, it was just a little thing that I like I messed up like adding more lines because you know adding lines are important but yes so the date format you can be like i just want you know day day month month uh why 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 or it can be like it could be fancy and be like i want slashes in here so you can just have slashes right you know 
It's the 34th? No. Alright, that I, it's a little over case. There you go. It's the third. Wow. Alright. Okay, yeah, it is past midnight. To prove that, it can be like hour, hour, minute, minute, second, second. Yay, it's 12.47 a.m. What's a.m.? It's not like this. I, I, I don't know. I'm just guessing. Oh, is it, it's this. No. I, 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 I give up, but you know. Let's see what more options. You can just Google date format like this. So if you want to edit it, you just open up Google. You go to this, like, uh, there you go, the simple date format. Just Google that. And let's say you want, I don't know, AM or PM. It's kind of, you could do 80. I don't know who would do 80, but here, A. Just like this, A. A should mark it as either AM or PM. Boom. There you go. So yeah, this is, uh, this is how that works. But the other things like the text, you just kind of click here and be like, yeah, you want text? You get, you got some text. There you go. Shaw me and Snapchat Secure Boy 7 Eleven. But there's far more stuff you can add. You can add, like, you know, a potion HUD, for example. And it shows your potions. Or we can remove that because we don't want that. Bye. Um, you can add your FPS, your armor. So for the armor, there's a few settings. You have toggle durability and toggle held item. I don't actually have any armor. But let's go into a place that has armor. There we go, duels. We're just gonna, just gonna kindly ask the person not to kill us. Yeah, we're just going to edit this element because this is the one we're messing with. So you can see right here. Here is everything. You and there's another bug. Alright, well, this is this is quite sad. But that, that bug will be fixed. That will show your proper armor. So you go to change items, right? You click on your armor. Toggle durability, so it toggles the durability. Toggle the hold items, so it'll toggle whether the item in your hands exists or not. Yay, yeah. So you can toggle their ability. This will be fixed so that it's like just minus that so it doesn't... If this dude stabs me. Oh, he wants a screen. Yes. So this will be fixed, but uh, we're just going to get rid of it. So, yep. There's a few other items. Now you have your C counter. Very useful for all the UHC sweaties. Uh, you have your direction HUD. We're currently facing east. No one. No one cares about that. Just kidding. A lot of people do. But yes, you can also scroll on this so if you have a small display. Or you can use these. These just do a little bit of scroll for you in case you don't, you're on a trackpad. And, like, scrolling is, like, really not great. You know, because scrolling does vary. Uh, what else do we have here? Right, the, uh, coordinates one. Where's chords? I'm blind. Alright, here it is. First thing. So, if you click on chords, you can either make it vertical. So, it's, like, vertical versus horizontal. And you can change it to how many decimal places you want it to be. All the cool kids do, like, four decimals. You need to be ultra precise here. But I, I usually just keep it on two. But, yeah. Alright, this, this person got his screeny. Thanks. But let's go fix that bug and I'll be right back. Alright, moment of truth. Toggle durability. What, what, negative? Alright, that's just, alright. Just, just don't worry about that because it's a head and it's a weird thing. But yes, I have fixed it. So now it does show armor durability. You can also toggle your held item as before. So yes, I have fixed the bugs. Yay. You may be asking yourself, well, how do I add more elements? The answer is simple. You type slash chrome HUD, you get into this GUI, and you click this fancy new button. You won't really see anything over here because you don't have anything, but for the purposes of this, let's make it big. Let's make it highlighted with a shadow because it's very important. Let's also uh, set it to be chroma with the wave chroma because everyone loves the everyone loves the wave, right? Am I right? So you come here to text. Let's for the example. All right, text is empty. All right, we're gonna change this to skier is the best. Like this, with an exclamation point. And now that we're done. We can change the position of it to be right next to our hotbar to be reminded of that constantly. Right. Uh, yes. Also, a thing to mention is it has detection now to make sure like you don't move this off the screen by accident. It's like I'm trying to move it off, it just won't go any further. Right? Because the red thing is essentially the hitbox. Well, not really, but sorta. For all for the purposes of this, yes, it's like the hitbox. Like it won't really even if like I try to drag it out more, it just like won't let me. See, it's like up the top. Now I'm at the bottom. Yeah, see, it just doesn't. But yes, let's see. Uh, we're, we're just going to put it here. And that works out very well. So now we know that uh, Skier is the best. So I hope you guys enjoyed this mod. If you did, please leave a like and uh, comment your new favorite feature and what you're hyped for. The next mod I'm going to be working on is the Hypixel Community mod, as well as the integration to allow you to add modules to this. But the first big module is probably going to be the Hypixel Community mod. So leave a like. Download the mod. Have a great day. Goodbye.